All right, so uh, we can see here that if we pick the curve point and we put down uh, four curve points and then close them, then we can see that uh, with this first point, we can see that it's a curve point and that that gives it a kind of seesaw effect. And uh, if we then uh, click and drag on the spline, then we can see that this has now created these corner points that have a sharp corner, but their point type appears to still be a curve point type, which is very strange. Um, and you can see that if we take these two points and we set them to curve points, nothing happens. But if we set them to corner points, then that's what they should be to have this kind of corner behavior. And then if we set them back to curve points, they go back to doing the uh, seesaw style movement. And so basically what I want is to be able to click and drag on this spline here and for these points to remain as curve points with their seesaw action. Which means that moving this spline here would affect this spline and this spline because it would change the way that this seesaw point is working.